crazy carnivore side effects. <laughs> if you've been down the, the animal-based carnivore road for a little bit, you start to notice some things are crazy and they start to change. Are they side effects or are they just your body changing? Well, here's a few uh, things that have changed with my taste buds. And, you know, little backstory, I was a picky eater. We'll get into it. Like always, this is Anthony Stewart. This is Food for Thought. We are questioning everything they've ever said. And yes, I know as we get older, our tastes change. But I can tell you uh, for sure, you know, uh, from... <laughs> from from experience I was well starting off I was a picky eater I was a picky kid I was the poster child for meat and potatoes I did not like vegetables uh, you would have to sit me down for hours to try to get cooked vegetables let alone you know I might eat some raw carrots and some cucumbers my grandma used to make me a little side dish my mom got upset because I wouldn't eat my vegetables and my grandmother was on my side and would say that his you know tastes and his he'll change as he gets older as I got older, I realized that vegetables were good for me, so I, you know, basically decided that I, you know, should eat them, so I made, you know, an adult decision, and therefore made sure that I was getting my greens, eating my salad, blah, 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 blah. Leave me in the comment below if you, if you agree with this. It's vegetables, aside from maybe an organic, beautifully grown, nature, soiled, vegetable they're not delicious let me know what you think about that i think it's what we put on them that make them delicious whether it's a shit ton of butter or a lot of salt or a sauce or certain you know seasonings um but other than that i don't really think the bitterness and the the you know the, the actual taste of them is joyful let alone this is what's happened to my tastes first I could not stand oysters. I had made a short video. I always go for oysters with my mom. She she gets mussels. I get oysters. Are you kidding me? Holy... I remember the first time I ever tried an oyster. I was like, get that away from me. It tastes like you're eating the dock. That's what I said. Like taking a bite out of the dock. Now, I did it. I tried them because when, when I went animal basic, when I was carnivore, just starting out, I was like, we were at a restaurant, and I was like, I don't know what to eat. All this stuff is going to be chocked full of vegetable oils. So I ordered a, a plate of oysters, and I just was going to choke them down. just as, And they were delicious. I was like, what the hell is going on? Uh, number two, one big thing that is very surprising. I, until I was 40 plus years old, could not eat eggs. I thought they were disgusting. Everything about them. It didn't matter if I made, I could choke down or just like force down scrambled eggs with a lot of ketchup and a lot of salt and pepper. Other than that, they were gross. Well, when I decided to go carnivore, at first I thought it was great because I could just eat steak, but then I thought I'd try some eggs. And oh my lord, look what happened. Now I eat eggs anyway from, you know, not just scrambled with butter and a little bit of salt. But I eat them fried, sunny side up, raw yolks. I, I you know, like I put a, a raw yolk on a piece of meat and I break the yolk open and it's like a little bit of cheese or a little sauce. You know, I've, I've, it's unreal. What still can't do hard boiled, but that's okay. I don't need to because there's way better ways to eat eggs. Anyway, I can eat them any way now. Uh, poached, sunny side up, over easy, scrambled, and I love them. How does this happen? You know, I mean, I, I going from a whole life of hating them to, you know, all of a sudden these things start popping up. Another one, and it's more of a more of a of a tolerance here, but spicy food. I was, you know, pardon my expression, I was a little bitch about spicy food. I could not handle hot stuff. Now, lay it on. I don't do it often, but the hotter the better. I was in, um, I was on the road at, with work with with a Mexican guy, and we went to the, the supermarket, and he's like, "You gotta try this," and he was doing it for a joke, 
we went and got habanero peppers and, and what what he does is he dips it in salt and, and lime and he eats the hal or the habanero pepper it's like arguably one of the hottest peppers on the planet and i did it no problem and he was he was blown away he's like how can you know how can a canadian white guy eat a pepper like that and and be okay with it and i was completely fine of course it was spicy really spicy but it, my tolerance for spice has gone through the roof now why what's happened you know another one is mushrooms i don't really eat mushrooms very often and i could not handle them at all they were disgusting so now i can handle mushrooms i can eat them and they like you know mushrooms pretty much incorporate the flavor of what they're cooking in so although i don't eat them all the time is there a place for them? Perhaps, you know what, let me know if you eat mushrooms. And then the last one that's really, really kind of crazy. I needed, when I drank coffee, I needed like triple, quadruple cream and a shit ton of sugar. Now, black coffee. I, I enjoy it. I actually, you know, unless I'm putting butter in it, maybe a little MCT oil, I drink it black. No problem. And, you know, those are just some of the things that have changed with my taste buds. Let me know what's changed with you. If you're on the carnivore way or, you know, as you got older, what do you think? I think all carbohydrates need stuff on them. It's funny how a baked potato, just try and eat that with, with no butter and sour cream. Or try and eat a pasta with no sauce. Or try and eat rice with nothing on it, just, just plain rice. It's pretty boring. It's kind of interesting how this works. Stay strong.